Here's Tanya and I thought I would do a little haul. I don't often do them and then I get very excited when I can. And as you can see a lot of it is pens. I went a little bit pen crazy this time and uh, I, I have a thing for pens and I decided that uh, I needed them in my life so I got them. And these are friction. Uh, they're erasable and they actually do erase nicely. I'll just show you quickly. Where's that little book that I had? Huh, there. Okay, that's hidden. This is my testing book. Um, they like, I think they're, they're like markers. Okay, so let's do a quick test. We go test on the fly and then I will idiotically thought that was the rubber but this is actually the rubber and if you apply a bit of friction to it, it takes a little bit more friction than you actually anticipate initially but if you keep going keep going they do kind of erase they leave a shadow and it's not bad uh, so yeah so I got those in blue pink red and green pretty colors then yes yes I got Quite a few of these because I bought her inks, her new inks, and I want to try them in here. So yes, yeah, so, so that's going to be super fun and I'll do, hopefully I can do that on video and see what comes up. And yes, I got, I got the Aqua Pastels. This is from her first collection. Aren't they pretty? I'm going to do a review of those as well because I want to actually compare them with Dina Wakeley's Scribble Sticks, which I also have. And um, I also remembered I had the Prima pastels as well, so I could probably compare them against that as well. And so yes, yeah, so there's that, and then yeah, I got I got the jelly roll pens and and more of the jelly roll pens because can you have too many jelly roll pens? I honestly don't think you can. So yeah, so these are the ones that look really really nice on black paper, and then these are just some other ones, and these ones are fascinating. I was playing with them today at work, which. Uh, one shouldn't do, I don't know where to put it now, okay we'll just put it back there, uh, you probably shouldn't play with pens at work but in my defence our aircon was out and it was uncomfortable so I decided to play with the stuff. These have a gold cast to them, a shadow, a gold shadow, it is amazing and I can't bring it up too high because otherwise the sun's going to catch me but you can see there, isn't that pretty? Imagine just writing, you know. Oh, today was hot and I have a horrible handwriting and uncomfortable. Wow. But, but look, it goes gold. So even untidy handwriting can look pretty. So yeah, so those I think are super fun and I reckon, I reckon they'll work well in art journaling as well or any, anything that I can think of to use them for. I got some brushes. They were having a good sale. They were having 40% or this was Michael's. Sorry, I got all this stuff from Michael's. They were having a 40% off all regular priced items. And then there were some of them they were having buy one get 50% off the other one. So I got some, I got me some more brushes. And I know they say acrylic, but um, I'm pretty sure you can use them with watercolors too. So these, there's a, a it's, I don't know what the levels mean. Maybe somebody can explain to me what the different levels mean. But I've got level one and level two. I've got an eight and a ten in level one, and I've got a ten and a twelve in level two. And I didn't have any of the sizes except for this one. I did have this one already, but uh, I'm excited and look at that, they're clear with this grip, grip part there, oh, I'm excited to use those. And then the other exciting thing is I got a Stillman and Burn, the Zeta series, this is the hot pressed paper and I have already played in it a little bit in my inimitable way and it's, it's really nice, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be, but uh, I made up for it by getting this gigantic one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. I have a load of journals, watercolour journals that I am using at the moment and this one, I really, I like it. I know it's spiral bound, I prefer, you know, the proper bound, but uh, I still fig figure that I can do something fun with that and look at the page size, it's huge. I mean, if you compare it to my other large journal, which is Jane's, okay. Jane's only slightly smaller. Okay, not so huge. Well, there you go. Live and learn. 
<laughs> so there you go. That is what I bought and yeah you'll be seeing me using them and I'm hoping as I said to do a full of these in a separate video and a comparison of those. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching.